sinister stories. In the quiet town of Eldridge, the annual blood drive was a cherished event, drawing volunteers eager to contribute to the community's well-being. Allison, a first-time volunteer, felt a genuine sense of purpose as she joined the efforts to collect life-saving donations. The day began smoothly, with donors flowing in and the community center buzzing with activity. As Allison assisted with the blood collection process, she couldn't help but notice a few individuals wearing surgical masks and pristine lab coats. At first, she dismissed it as a precautionary measure given the ongoing concerns about health and safety. However, as the day progressed, the number of these mysterious figures seemed to multiply, and their silent presence became increasingly unnerving. Attempting to alleviate her growing unease, Allison approached one of the masked individuals, attempting to strike up a conversation. However, her efforts were met with cold silence. The strangers moved with an unsettling precision, their masked faces revealing nothing as they went about their tasks, handling vials of blood with an almost clinical detachment. As the day wore on, Allison's curiosity transformed into concern. She observed one of the masked figures entering a supply closet and curiosity overcame her. Determined to unravel the mystery, she followed the individual inside. To her bewilderment, the closet was empty. Confused but undeterred, Allison heard a faint noise and quickly hid behind a stack of boxes. A secret door opened, revealing a dimly lit passage. The mysterious figure emerged and left, leaving the door slightly ajar. Seizing the opportunity, Allison slipped through the secret entrance. Descending the hidden staircase, Allison found herself in a secret laboratory. The room buzzed with an eerie energy as masked figures huddled around tables covered with vials of blood. Their discussion, barely audible, hinted at experiments that transcended the boundaries of conventional medical practices. Terrified yet compelled to uncover the truth, Allison concealed herself in the shadows. The masked individuals, seemingly oblivious to her presence, spoke of extracting unknown substances from the donated blood. Determined to expose the sinister plot, Allison listened intently as the masked figures inaudible outlined their intentions. The blood, and then just murmurs of experimental unknowns. As the masked figures continued their discussions, Allison contemplated her next move. Unbeknownst to her, the shadows concealed her presence until a stray noise drew their attention. Allison had gotten too close as she was trying to uncover their master plot. Panic surged through her, but before she could react, the secret laboratory plunged into darkness. A power outage swept through Eldridge, casting the town into an abyss of uncertainty. In the pitch-black laboratory, Allison seized the opportunity to flee, navigating the labyrinthine passages with a mixture of fear and determination. The echoes of the masked figures' hushed discussions reverberated through the darkness. Allison finally escaped and just kept running, all the way to street. Despite the horrors she had witnessed in the secret laboratory beneath the community center, Allison found herself facing an even more daunting challenge, convincing others of the malevolent truth lurking behind the seemingly innocent blood drive. Eager to expose the sinister agenda, Allison approached local authorities and shared the details of the secret experiments. However, her pleas were met with skepticism and dismissive glances. The town officials attributed her accounts to fatigue or stress, labeling the blood drive as nothing more than a routine medical event. Undeterred, Allison sought support from fellow volunteers, hoping that those who had shared the blood drive experience would corroborate her story. To her dismay, her attempts to rally others met with blank stares and feigned ignorance. It seemed as though a veil of collective denial shrouded the town, shielding its residents from the unsettling truth. As days passed, Allison's sense of isolation deepened. She began to notice individuals wearing surgical masks following her through the quiet streets of Eldridge. Their presence was subtle yet palpable, a constant reminder that her pursuit of the truth had not gone unnoticed. Paranoia crept into her daily life, 
casting shadows over even the most mundane activities. Attempting to find solace, Allison confided in close friends and family, desperately seeking validation for her harrowing experiences. To her dismay, they too dismissed her accounts as overactive imagination or the product of stress. The once supportive network of relationships now crumbled under the weight of disbelief. Haunted by the masked figures and the chilling experiments she had witnessed, Allison felt an increasing sense of desperation. Sleepless nights blurred into anxious days as she navigated the town's familiar streets, always aware of the shadowy figures that seemed to linger at the periphery of her vision. The local news covered the blood drive as a success, praising the community for its generous contributions. As Allison watched the report, a sinking feeling settled in her stomach. The truth concealed, the town oblivious to the impending threat that lurked in the darkness. Despite the unsettling events that had unfolded in Eldridge, the town decided to host another blood drive. Officials claimed a dire need to replenish the blood supply for the local hospital. For Allison, this presented a calculated opportunity to infiltrate the event once again and delve deeper into the secrets that haunted the town. As the community center buzzed with the anticipation of the upcoming blood drive, Allison posed as a volunteer once more. Her determination masked the lingering fear that clung to her, a testament to the courage that propelled her to seek the truth behind Eldridge's ominous facade. As the day of the blood drive arrived, Allison navigated the familiar surroundings with a blend of caution and purpose. The masked figures were nowhere to be seen, a deceptive calm settled over Eldridge, creating an illusion of normalcy that belied the horrors lurking beneath. With each donation station she attended, Allison surreptitiously observed the procedures, searching for any sign of wrongdoings. The volunteers, oblivious to her ulterior motives, went about their tasks, and donors reclined in the donation chairs, unaware of the potential malevolence concealed within their altruistic contributions. Her investigation led her to a seemingly innocuous storage room, where she had previously glimpsed one of the masked figures. As Allison cautiously entered, memories of the chilling revelations flooded back. However, to her dismay, the room appeared ordinary, devoid of the ominous secrets she had expected to uncover. Undeterred, Allison expanded her search, exploring hidden corners and supply closets. As she ventured deeper into the labyrinthine corridors, a subtle noise drew her attention to an unassuming door. Fueled by a relentless curiosity, she cautiously opened it and stepped into the shadows beyond. To her astonishment, the hidden passage led to a concealed laboratory. Rows of pristine lab equipment and vials of blood lined the tables. Allison's heart raced as she realized the horrors she had uncovered. The town's insatiable demand for blood had birthed a secret operation that transcended the bounds of medical necessity. The masked figures, absent from the blood drive, now revealed themselves in their true roles as scientists conducting grotesque experiments. Dark rituals unfolded as they manipulated the donated blood, extracting otherworldly substances with an air of malevolent expertise. A sense of dread washed over Allison as she witnessed the unfolding horrors. The town, oblivious to the darkness festering within its very core, continued to be complicit in the malevolent experiments. As Allison delved deeper into the secret laboratory, her discovery of the grotesque experiments unveiled a nightmarish reality that transcended her worst fears. The hidden passage had led her to the heart of the malevolent operation, where the masked scientists conducted sinister rituals with the donated blood. To her horror, Allison's presence was not as discreet as she had hoped. The masked figures, alerted to her intrusion, closed in with an eerie efficiency. Before she could react, a sudden darkness enveloped her, and a damp cloth pressed against her face. The world around her blurred into shadows, and consciousness slipped away. When Allison regained awareness, she found herself restrained on an operating table within the secret laboratory. The surgical masks concealed the faces of the scientists, their cold gazes fixed upon her. 
The sterile atmosphere was tainted with an air of malevolence, and the dim lighting cast elongated shadows that danced ominously on the walls. A chilling realization settled over Allison. She had become the captive in a twisted plot that used the blood drive as a ruse to ensnare her. The experiments she had uncovered were now poised to extract the life force from her own veins. As her surroundings came into focus, Allison saw the glint of surgical instruments and vials neatly arranged on nearby tables. Fear pulsed through her veins, matching the rhythm of the malevolent intentions that surrounded her. The masked scientists, devoid of empathy, prepared to drain her of the very essence that sustained her existence. Summoning every ounce of courage, Allison strained against her restraints. The cold metal cut into her skin, a cruel reminder of her vulnerability. The scientists, immune to her struggles, and their masked faces betraying no emotion. In a desperate attempt to escape, Allison seized the moment when one of the masked figures momentarily turned away. With a surge of adrenaline, she managed to free one hand from the restraints. The room seemed to pulse with an urgent heartbeat as she silently slipped off the operating table, her movements cautious and deliberate. Navigating the labyrinthine laboratory, Allison sought a means of escape. The masked figures, unaware of her newfound freedom, continued their preparations. Shadows clung to the corners, concealing her movements as she approached a door that hinted at an exit. The door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit corridor. As Allison stepped into the hallway, she heard the echo of footsteps behind her. The masked scientists had realized her escape. Panic surged through her, urging her to move faster through the oppressive darkness. With each step, Allison's surroundings became increasingly unfamiliar. The labyrinthine passages seemed to shift, disorienting her senses. Whispers of malevolent intent reverberated through the corridor, and the shadows seemed to reach out, threatening to ensnare her once more. As she turned a corner, Allison stumbled upon a grim discovery, an array of sealed chambers, each containing a drained and lifeless body. The horrors of the experiments extended beyond her own plight, revealing the fate of those who had unwittingly contributed to the malevolent cause. With renewed determination, Allison pressed forward. The labyrinth seemed to stretch endlessly, a surreal maze designed to thwart her escape. The masked figures closed in, their footsteps echoing with an ominous rhythm. Desperation fueled her every step as she sought an exit that remained elusive in the shifting darkness. Finally, a glimmer of moonlight filtered through a cracked door at the end of the corridor. Allison pushed it open, revealing the night sky and the outskirts of the laboratory. The chilling air outside offered a stark contrast to the oppressive atmosphere within. As she stepped into the night, the masked figures emerged from the labyrinth, their cold determination unyielding. Allison tried to pull through the shadows, her breath ragged and heart pounding. The malevolent masked man clung to her, an unseen presence that whispered mal intent. Once again, a white cloth was brought to her face and Allison started to fade away again. This time, she woke up restrained to a chair with a needle removing the blood from weakened body. As the voice uttered the words, thank you for your donations.